Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I'm going to show you how you can put a servo into FSX using an Arduino with Moby Flight. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. So, for the wiring of the servo, we're going to use these three wires that are coming from the servo. I just put them with a jumper cable. And now the lightest one, or the one on the left side, goes to your pin on the Arduino. In my case, it's pin 2. That's just the first one on the Arduino that Moby Flight lets you use. And then our middle wire right here goes to 5 volts. So, clip that right there. And then the last wire goes to ground. If it doesn't work, usually that's because we switched the input and the ground so in that case you could just go like this and then turn this around and go like that that's usually the problem with these is that you mix those two up I'm using Moby Flight it works with FSX and it's free I'll leave a link in the description and a link on a video how to install it for the first step you're gonna go to extras and then go to settings uh, you're going to go to Moby Flight modules, um, your video Moby Flight, and then your M Moby Flight module right there. And then we're going to add a servo at pin 3. So, airspeed servo. Let's go to the description and name this airspeed. Um, sim to later. Oh well, whatever. Um, so go to edit. Now use the preset. Oh, there's no preset. So go to Project Magenta. That's what I usually like to use. Uh, so just look up all FSUIPC offsets, and then you'll get this. Uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description too, just for funsies. If you wanna load, you can, but you don't have to. It's the song with you eating a stew. Up ba da ba da ba do do. Oh, okay. So just type in uh, Control F and then Speed, and then you'll find Ground Speed. We don't need Ground Speed. Uh, true Air Speed. That would be helpful, but we're gonna use Indicated Air Speed. Uh, it's the same unless you click the little. Uh, show indicated airspeed box in FSX settings, so it really doesn't matter until you do that. Uh, so, we're going to copy this, 0 to Bravo Charlie, and then paste this into our configuration wizard. So, 0x, zero 0 to Bravo Charlie. Uh, and right here it says that the size is 4, so we're going to put that to four, that basically means that there are, I think, eight S. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. eight. Yeah. Uh, so that's good cheese and whatnot. Wait, what? Uh, and now we're gonna go to display. We're gonna use our move flight with our servo and our airspeed servo. So the minimum and maximum value we're gonna find out later. First, we're going to test it. So, if it moves like that, that means that there's the correct wiring. So well, that works. And if it makes weird crinkly noises at the end of the travel, you can decrease this and it won't move as far. So for now, we're going to unplug this uh, just because we don't want to damage it if it's going to move too far. That would be bad. So we're going to go run. And then we're going to open FSX. And we're going to pay attention to right here. Did it even save? Come on. Okay, yeah, it did. We're good. We're going to pay attention to right here where it says FSUIPC value. Uh, so... Right now, it says FSUIPC value 0. That is good. We're not going negative speeds. So, uh, 
we don't have to do any transformations. And um, I'll talk a little bit about those later. So, for this, we're going to increase our speed and see how the values change. Ah oh dear, this is so boring, manually trimming the trim wheel. I bet I could show you that in a video in the future. Haha! -ha. So right now we're gonna go all the way down, uh, nose down, to see what it looks like at 200 miles per hour. Okay, uh... That was embarrassing. You know what? I'm gonna cheat. Let's go to world, map, and now uh, let's just change speed to 200. Uh, 200. And now we're gonna press space real quick. So, this should be our max value. Uh, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that for later, just in case. So our max value is somewhere around 24750. Uh, we can fine tune it later, but uh, we're gonna just go with 24750. So stop this. What is happening? Oh, yeah, you can. So 24750 is our max. Uh, you can't go much faster than that on a Cessna, unless you're dropping from 50,000 feet. <coughs> well, I guess you can go fast, but not practically. So, 2, 4, 7, 50. And then our minimum is 0. So, uh, let's go back here. So now we're going to put these back on and then see what we can do. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> so, it's working. Oh, it's also running, that's why. So now, stop this and run. And now, uh, So now you can see that it is an airspeed indicator. Oh, why am I upside down? That's that's scary. It's an airspeed indicator! Unfortunately, it's the wrong way. Fix that in a second. To switch the values, you're just gonna go into your edit. And then, with compare, uh, you go to interpolation settings. Uh, so this will like make you interpret the settings pretty much. So it'll like, if you put it this, it'll be the hat and it'll interpretate it for you, I guess. Uh, but let's go here and then this will be zero and then this will be our max value of around 6, 1600, which isn't an exact number, uh, but this one will be 1600, and then this one will be zero, so we just kind of switched them. So when uh, the input is zero, it outputs 1600, and when the input is 1600, it outputs zero. So it just switches it. So then if we run that, so the output is zero, but it's secretly <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, I did this wrong. Uh, <laughs> it's 16,000. Okay. <laughs> so, let's see, right here. Uh, let's see what that did. So now, it looks like it's working as it should. 
Uh, excuse my flying here. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's definitely going like a normal airspeed indicator should. Okay, and now it's decreasing. And now it's increasing. Not that it should be. Ooh, that was a close one. Um, so yeah, you see that it's working as it should be. Oh, that was just because I messed the values up. Um, so now, uh, so now, if we go into here, and then uncheck that box, it will go back to normal. Let's see. Yeah. Not working too well. So yeah, that is how you reverse them. And... <laughs> but wait, Captain! My servo won't do anything if there's negative values! Don't worry, confused citizen. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, that's weird. So, let's make something with both positive and negative values. Let's make vertical speed. Eh, this is close. Okay, so let's go into presets, and it should be under general. Current vertical speed. Okay, and then just use that. And then it comes without this with this little formula. That's so cute. Okay. So now let's go to display, module, video. Moby flight. Perfect. Servo. Yes. Eh, we'll use this one. It's not being used right now. Well, kind of. Whatever. So then, test. It works. We're good. And then, minimum value and maximum value. Those will be changed later. Minimum is always zero, by the way. Or usually zero. There can be sometimes it's not. So let's see. Uh, vertical. Vertition. Sep. Head. Whatever. Okay. So let's go into the simulator and find out our rough vertical speeds. Okay, so. Okay, so for the step with this, we need to find the lowest vertical speed. So let's go. Oh. Um, ready? So, we'll just go with 10 and then double it. Uh, so... Uh, good. That was close. One minute, please. Okay, that's, that looks about right. So it's negative 1288. Um, so we'll go and then multiply that by 2, and we'll get negative 20. So... This is our lowest value, negative 1, or 2576, and then we'll go into, so 2576 is our lowest value, negative that, so we'll go here, and then we hate that, so we will add it to our transform, so it's S, or dollar sign, which is basically an X, plus 2576, that was the number, right? And then that makes it so that these numbers are always zero. Okay, so let's see. So now if we go over to negative 20, oh, I don't have enough altitude. <laughs> so now if we go over to negative 20, it should say value of zero. Or, well, you know, to an extent. So, okay, so that's about 20. Uh, so, it says negative 26, which is perfect. Uh, it's okay. So then, it shows how it works, because instead of, so now it works, because instead of going uh, 
and not doing anything like it would uh, right now. So right now it's not doing any. Or, oh, <laughs> spoke at the wrong time. But right now it's not doing anything when it's in the negative zone, you know? Only in the positive zone. But when you add the transformation, it makes sure that it always does stuff. Uh, of course, <laughs> the, of course, with the display, this should be uh, the maximum value uh, plus this number. So that's around six thousand. We'll go with that, uh, and then now it will work normally. Of course, putting a servo motor to FSX is a lot like putting a stepper motor to FSX. So I recommend you watch this video and these videos too.